soon as my colossal review went out, I had a few people go, Hey Luke, have you seen... I'm like, no I haven't. I'll add it to the list. And here we are, a few months later. And I'm finally watching Time Crimes, which is a 2007 sci-fi thriller. Uh, it's, a, it's a Spanish made movie, so if, if you're one of those weirdos who can't do subtitles, this movie isn't for you. But if you like really cool, clever, dark, time travel movies, then who gives a fuck what language it's in? Watch this movie. <laughs> so it's written and directed by Nacho Vigalondo. Uh, I, as I've said previously, I've done Colossal, I loved that movie, I gave it a 10, and so I was super excited for this. I didn't watch a trailer or anything, I just watched this off the strength of Colossal. And I wasn't let down. It's low budget, but they never go for any of these big flashy effects or anything like that. It, it feels like the makers of this movie went through the KISS method. Fucking keep it simple, stupid. And I think they do that in terms of uh, locations, uh, the amount of actors, and all that kind of stuff. Now, what they don't use the KISS method for is the actual plot of the movie, which is something I usually kind of give people the gist of, but this time I'm not. All I'm going to say is this, look, it starts with this normal husband dude named Hector, and he's... You know, got a normal home with a great wife, all that kind of stuff. All this weird shit starts happening. And at first you're like, what's going on here? Because you, I'm, so I'm sitting there going, when does the time travel start? Like, how does this regular, how does this dude that's like a regular husband man get involved in time travel? Like, what's going on here? And as you watch the movie... Every question I kind of had about it got answered. Like, how does this fit? Wait, if this fits into that, then how does that part fit? Okay, so if that fits into that, I need a fucking flowchart. How does this stick? How are these? At the end of the day, by the time I finished the movie, I thought it all made sense. I'm not quite sure if 100% of it does. I'm definitely going to have to watch this again. Uh, my wife loves time travel movies, so... Uh, this is definitely going to be one of those movies where you sit there and watch it, and you're like, what's going on? And then the second time you watch it, you know what's going on, but you're like, what did I miss? How did all these things tie together? There are some wonderful twists and turns in this. Not always things that you'll see coming, and I had a kind of smile on my face for most of them. Other times, there were these things that were happening, like, what are you doing? Why is this part happening? This is bizarre, and it's kind of so fucked up. <laughs> it's uh, it's just like Colossal, this is a movie that made me laugh out loud, and then made me go, oh fuck, that, that deteriorated fast. <laughs> so, I will say, I loved it. If you like kind of time travel, complicated time travel-ish kind of movies and themes, uh, you'll love this. It's very clever. It's well acted. They. It never ever stays its welcome. It never tries to be more than it is. Like, it doesn't explain the time travel that much. Just, they have a time machine and they've been testing it. And this hapless guy kind of gets involved with it. And I don't need to know the science behind it. I just need to know that, the, that you've got a style of time travel that you've chosen. And it kind of works throughout the flow of the story. I was riveted the whole time. It's only an hour and a half. And it's one of those movies where I'm like, alright, that was a really good hour and a half, but I can, why, why can't this one be two hours? I would have watched a lot more of this. And now that I've seen two Nacho Vigalundo movies, I want to see a third. So I didn't really say much about the actual plot or the movie or anything like that. You gotta go into it just expecting time travel. Hey, the movie's called Time Crimes. And some shenanigans to happen and uh, just, just go from there, man. It's awesome. I fucking loved it. So, give me a like. 
dislike, share and subscribe, all that stuff. Yeah, it, this is the morning for me. My makeup, my makeup people went around to kind of help me out and I've only had one coffee so I'm a little tired but I just just had to get this review out it's just, mm, just it, it's the kind of movie that stuck with my head hey straight after this movie I was like fuck that was a smart clever piece of work I've got to watch something dumb so I did <laughs> Just to kind of like unwind and have to watch something where I don't have to use my brain so much. Man, it was uh, just great stuff. Watch it.